All right. It has been too long since I've done a Sledstorm speedrun, so I decided to claim the all tracks record. Um, gonna be a little rusty, honestly. But uh, the timer starts um, when I press restart or whenever I finish. Whenever you finish a track, you can just go back and do another track again, like retry a track or something like that. And you can start the timer there if you'd like. But I'm just going to start the timer here. So, three, two, one, go. Three, and this two, is also the one, no skip category. Go. So, I don't have to do any tricks which is nice, but at the same time makes it all about movement. Just doesn't make it as dynamic as the other categories. I'm gonna remind myself to not reset. Even if I crash, I'm not gonna reset. Because all I'm wanting to do is get other racers trying to run this game so it doesn't have to be an amazing run if you've watched any of my other videos you can tell that the physics for this game is really weird and that's why I find it to be so much fun to play you're constantly getting bounced around in different ways. You're always adjusting. No lap is the same. Because it depends on the speed and the angle in which you hit a certain polygon and it'll push you a certain way. Pretty slow considering. Also, I need to get like a um, I want to get a pedal so I can stop my splits with my foot instead of taking my hands off my controller to press the space button on my keyboard. Would save me a little time. We don't have to hit the bunny, which is. Nice, I guess. He's kind of... <laughs> he can be an issue at times. So I want to go up here and then... Avoid the snowman if I can. Mm. Doesn't really slow you down, but he can like... His hitbox can be really strange sometimes and he bounces you. Do this little shortcut here. The skip category I will go after, after I claim this. Skip category makes the... It's really short, because each lap you can do like in 7 seconds. So it'll be like literally a quarter of the, the time for this run. Okay, I got a good angle going on here. Very nice angle. Clean over that hill, don't clip. It's all about not clipping. Oh, I got a good bounce too. You can clip into the map really easily in this game. And with the speed of the 800cc engine, you can just like keep pushing through the ground and crash. I'm not sure what, if that's a building off to my right. It looks like a building. I don't know. Not enough of the <laughs> of it renders to know what it is. That was pretty bad right there. Ah, that was really bad right there. <laughs> See, like it doesn't take much for your angle to be thrown off. That's good. Sled steep ability is crucial.
really wish I hadn't crashed, but it's whatever. See, I'm losing a little bit of time every time I have to do the split, and plus I make sure I go to the next track. Uh, I think uh, this category is going to be addition of all the in-game time, so it doesn't really matter how fast I go to the next menu. Oh, that was really bad. What I was trying to do is like bounce across that and go down this shortcut here. And save a little bit of time instead of going around. Turn right here. And go across the nice icy waters. Avoid that sign if we can. It's hard to avoid that sign. As you can see, the hitboxes are really strange <laughs> and bounces you around. And we're going to pass the wolf up here. He's cheering us on. Alright, let's see if I can do it this time. There we go. That's eh, a little better. Yeah, I chose to do the um, no skip category first just because it has. It's a little bit longer, allows uh, more room for improvement. It's not all skips. I was really close from crashing there. You could tell. Couldn't quite choose which camera angle to use. I'm so used to the Open Mountain Championship, I want to do tricks the whole time. Oh, <laughs> I felt that coming. That happens uh, quite often, actually. Probably would have saved the same amount of time going around that. But. So we have two crashes. That's already already can make a big improvement on that. I could just drive safer next time. But for right now, I'm going all in. I'm going to try to do all the strats that I usually do in a normal run. That turns pretty difficult. So the bunny spawn, you can see his dead carcass was sitting there. Okay, got to make sure. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to slow down for that part more often. 2.30, phew. Everything's a gold split right now. Eagle Ridge, one of my personal favorites. Has a lot of big jumps. Some nice little little areas to shortcuts. So first we don't take the chorus as normal, we just go down here. You could go over to the left and take that shortcut and jump across into the tunnel, but it's uh, it's pretty risky to do. I only do it in individual levels. What was that? I don't know what slowed me down there. Okay, I haven't practiced this in a while, see how it goes. Oh, perfect. Whoa. <laughs> So that, what I just did there was a rock climb. It's not intended to take that route, but if you, if you face your sled on the, just the right slope, you can climb across it. Yeah, the movement for this track is really fun. Very specific lineups for it. Always can improve my line here. Using the D pad to steer. It's actually easier than an analog. Ah. 
I had the right lineup, but it went a little too far to the right. It launched me up a little. I was really high. <laughs> Didn't think I would go that high. Alright, let's make this turn. So we're up to three crashes. Whoa. Whoa. That would be four. Mm -hmm. So I submitted uh, the Open Mountain Championship speedrun of this game to uh, GSA. They um supposed to play it on Wednesdays, uh, World Record Wednesdays, but the only thing is it's random. So don't know, every Wednesday I tune in to GSA just to hope to see my run posted there, but when you have runs like freaking Final Fantasy that are like seven hours long, don't give you much uh, options. Glacial Grind. Probably one of my least favorite tracks here. Lots of weird slopes. It, it's very challenging. It's It's got some dead time too. A little bit of dead time right here. Not that much dead time. When I mean dead time, I just mean like you're not really doing much. Like I like always having to make a turn or do a jump at a specific angle and stuff like that. I don't like just going straight. I'm sure I'm sure nobody likes going straight. Alright. My goal is to not crash. How about that? A crashless run of this would be would be impressive. I mean, yeah, like, if you just made sure you didn't do anything stupid, but when you're doing all the all the jumps for the speed run, it's, it's pretty easy to crash. This, uh, this map really makes me want a slushy for some reason. Like, one of those, like, gas station icy slushies with the polar bear on it. What's his name? I feel like he has like a specific name. He has like the shades on, he's like riding a surfboard, like made of ice or something like that. There's the bunny, I saw him. I think somebody already hit him. Nice. The ship, uh, be a problem sometimes or the jump before the ship come on the skip for this one is really funny you could do a lap in like 10 seconds nice we want to avoid jumps at all costs The more time we're in the air, the more time we're losing. That was bad. At least I didn't crash, though. There's some jumps. Another cool mechanic of this game. If you're, um... You're about to land on the top of a... Fuck. I should've... <laughs> I should've waited. I should've waited until it's done with that jump to start talking but yeah if you're about to you're you're on the way down and you're about to clip the top of another jump you can like point your sled downwards and you'll clip through the top of it instead of like bouncing off which can save you some time it's very um it's hard to time it 
Hard to time, saves you time. So I've crashed on every track so far. Which is fine by me. I like having room for improvement. I like knowing like after the run I'm like, dude, I can go again and I'll definitely beat it if I just take a certain area a little more cautious. And then after you beat that time, you're like, okay, now I I can't be cautious there anymore, I just have to full throttle through and hope <laughs> hope I don't mess up. That's when it starts getting a little annoying. That's when you start doing resets of your runs. But I haven't been speedrunning for a while now. I've been playing uh just been playing some Halo Master Chief collection. Halo 3 specifically. I'm not even that great at that. I'm decent, like you throw me in a match, I mean, it's social, I'll always be the MVP for that. But, put me in ranked. <laughs> I'm only like ranked 23 or something like that. They reset the ranks like three times, so. Not much to say about Goat's Bluff. Um, there's this one turn up here. You would think you would go off that jump off to the right, but it's faster to go to the left here and swing down, stay on the ground, just like that. Plus, that uh, minimizes risk of crashing. Speak of the devil. See, it looked like it was a perfect line. Nope, nope. You land a little off, you're gonna crash. I never crash here though. I mean, I haven't played this game in like a month, so. But it's not like I'm not aware of like certain things like that. I kinda, I kinda know when it's about to go wrong. Like right as it's happening, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna crash now. Not that much of a surprise. Ooh, that was nice. Got a nice polygon swoop. This is weird right here, because you can't really see what's there. There's no shading of the slope, so everything looks the same. Alright, let's not... Stay in the ground, stay low. I might do like two more runs of this just to have like an established mm, established run instead of just like doing one run and be like alright there you go that's a record but then again I mean if I just post this run at least someone would be like oh it's not hard to beat it's only he, I mean, he crashed like 20 times so Like I said, I just want people to play this game and enjoy it as much as I do. Perilous Pass is really fun. Lots of big jumps here. It's actually possible to go through that fence and it doesn't break. It's pretty funny. It doesn't save any time though. This should be my new thing. Someone's telling me something, I'd be like, does it save time though? I'd be like, what do you mean? It's like, uh, I'm a speedrunner? I gotta know if it saves time. If it doesn't save time, then I don't care about it. The skip for this uh, track is really fun too. When I mean really fun, I mean really annoying. Bad bounces there. You're supposed to be able to hit the first jump and clear and land on top of the second one and then bounce across. I hit all of them. <laughs> mm. 
funny, right in, right at that moment I thought in my head, I'm like, wow, I'm doing good at these jumps right here. And <laughs> that happened. Some people don't even know about this shortcut. I've seen people in speedruns and they don't even go that way. Just like... It's pretty... It's pretty... It's pretty clear that that's a shortcut right there. Tempted to put the music on, but... I've seen a lot of runners. Yeah, there we go. See? Yeah, I bounced across that one. Oh, good turn there, too. I've seen a lot of runners just have, like, Rob Zombie playing in the background the whole time. Final lap. <laughs> what if I did that? For each, uh, each speedrun I do, I just have Rob Zombie Dracula playing for each track. Would be kind of cool. Whoa. I wonder if Rob Zombie even played this game. I'm sure, he played it a little bit. I mean, if your if your song is put into a video game, I would want to know about it. I'm sure he knew about it, but like, did he play it? Ooh, that was. Wow, that's uh, that's probably how I should do it from now on. Little decade for uh, swag points. Did I crash? Can't remember if I did. I don't think I did. Wow. We're at 21 minutes, 30 minutes. Okay, so this is gonna be a decently long run for Sledstorm. The longest category, of course, is the Open Mountain Championship No Skips, which is really fun. Which I've been meaning to speed run again. I'll probably do that when winter rolls around. Nice, nice. Because there's, um, there's a mechanic with the bunny I didn't know at the time that he respawns after hitting him. Fuck. <sighs> okay. It's a pretty easy um, little shortcut I missed there. She's gonna lose quite a bit of time too. you're supposed to do is like clip onto that side of the mountain you just ride up on it instead of so you avoid those like four jumps around the turn that you have to go like five miles per hour on but yeah i'm gonna grind out the 100 percent category of open mountain championship this winter for the skip category i'm kind of just gonna leave it as is all right, let's see if I can get this. There we go. It's not hard, it's just... Final lap. You gotta be careful coming back down from that though. You uh, jump too far to the right, you'll cross the finish line in midair, and it will not work. It will not work, you'll have to do another lap completely. There's like a checkpoint like right in front of the finish line. Dang it, I got the wing jump three times. I hate the wing jump. Sometimes I just go for the side strat. I just like go off the jump and land to the right of it. Nice. Oh, come on. Hate that. Now we're in the Super Snowcross series. 
these tracks are um, man-made tracks. It's so weird from going to Open Mountain to this. It's so weird. Oh my gosh. Because I'm used to just doing them individually. Okay. Lots of more turns. Lots more precise movements. That's why I don't really like it that much. Because it's just, it feels so like cost claustrophobic here. So tight. Yeah, I gotta actually gotta let off the gas sometimes. The skip category for this um for the snow cross series is so easy. Like anybody can do it. You just have to crash like in a 10 foot area <laughs> and it'll work. Okay. This turn can be weird sometimes. Ugh. Cause they have like a slope around like a turn that's going the opposite way. So like, it'll just flip you over if you hit it right. I need to learn how to not clip right there. If there's a way to do that. Well, that was interesting. That actually probably saved me some time right there. Actually, probably. Can you put those two together? Oh. Oh. Right there, you see that? It's like a jump on jump. be so much fun to make like a custom track in this game. Might look into that. Wow. That is fast, dude. That is super fast. I usually get like a 203. Wait, did I crash though? See, that's the thing, I can't remember. Mm. See, I forgot, don't hold accelerate at the start of that. So what you want to do is slowly turn to the left first and then go off the jump and you can just corner cut that whole loop area. And yes, you can do this, um, you can do this whole category with the storm sled it's just as fast. It's just the um, storm sled doesn't have the best stability. So, well, that was nice. These jumps can be an issue at times. They can clip you very easily. All right, let's get this turned down. It was alright. I kind of slowed down a little too much. I was being careful there. Don't like these jumps at all. Yes. Ooh. That was very, <laughs> was very risky. I actually had to hold back on my D-pad on that jump. Clipped me. Track's all right. I give it like a seven out of ten. I think the next track is one of my favorites. Final lap. Oh, I was in the air for way too long. I can't wait for it to get cooler. Apparently this winter is going to be pretty rough. Not here. I live in Raleigh, North Carolina, so it's not going to be as bad. I moved from Blowing Rock, North Carolina, which is like up in the mountains. And someone said the winter is going to be rough, so I'm glad I am here. So on days that it's really cold and I got nothing going on, 
this is what I'm gonna be doing. See, that was a that was a clip right there. It's not good. But two minutes and thirty one seconds is good. Well, this one's okay. It's very fast. I think it's only takes like a minute. Yeah, around a minute, 13 seconds. Three, two, one, go! It's the fourth track that I really... <laughs> okay, a minute and 15 seconds. A minute and 20 seconds. God. See, if you let the racers go ahead of you, they, they have this rubber banding that they'll crash on purpose. And they they'll become a problem more than a... They'll just become an obstacle like that, and you have to avoid them. That sucks. I'll know that for next time. If they ever get ahead of me, I just need to stay clear. This turn is... This turn is really annoying. It's like an... It's like a turn, but it's a jump at the same time. I'm not sure what they were thinking there. When does college football start? Why am I asking that? I don't really care. <laughs> well, I did live really close to uh, one of my favorite college teams. So. It was close. A minute 18. Wow, that was a pretty good guess, actually. My favorite track. Lots of turns, lots of little bends. Three, two, one, and the skip for this one is ridiculously hard. Okay, racers might get ahead of me here. Sergio, get out of the way. This one will get my heart rate up to like 120 beats per second. Not second, oh, beats per minute. Oh. Beats per second, holy shit. Probably wouldn't be alive if that happened. Lots of leaning, lots of letting off gas. Yeah, this one takes a lot of practice. This turn especially. I hate this turn. Did it pretty good there. Because you can kind of adjust your sled in midair, but you can't you can't do much. You can adjust like where you're you're like headed, but you can't move like your sled itself. That was bad lineup. So I points. Minute twenty two is not bad actually. Okay, I almost pressed the wrong direction. This track sucks. Just gonna just gonna throw that out there. It's like the equivalent of, um, actually it's not as bad as, <laughs> I was going to say Baby Park for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but uh, this track's better than that. <laughs> it's actually got some dynamics to it. There's a, no, um, ex Excite Bike for Mario Kart. Hey, hate that track. Hate it with a passion. Everybody votes for it for some fucking reason, too. So, this track is all about minimizing your airtime, which I'm not doing the best at doing. And not crashing to these jumps right there because you land unevenly. Down, down, down see right there. I clipped through the top of it, preventing me from bouncing high. I clipped right there, that was a little... There's good clips and there's bad clips. There's... I 
that. There, there's bad clips right there. Like, so each time before these jumps, I'm holding down. Oh, that was really bad. I'm. I feel like I held it earlier. I should have clipped in. One thirty-one. Eh. Last track. Last track. So we're at 34, 35 minutes. Three, pretty decent two, run. Run time, I mean. This is pretty sh crappy run, actually. Okay, so it's supposed to stay to the right there. But, eh. It's really hard to do. I might rename the, um... I, I just hate that they named the tracks, like, just Super Snowcross 1. Like, come on now. I could have been a little more original with it. I should make this into a custom white noise. Whoa. Don't know what happened there. Just the sound of the snowmobile engine from Sledstorm puts me to sleep. Dude, Sledstorm ASMR. And time. 3620. I have nothing to judge off of, so. We'll just go again. So I press spacebar to clear it all out. Yeah, 